お願いします。Zazen. Notice your body, notice your posture. Notice your breathing. Notice the space around you. Notice your breath go in and out of the body. Okay, Tenpai.、Uh, if you'll grab your boken, we'll warm up with our boken. Okay, high bow to the Shomen wall. Great. And by Odin, I didn't see you do a bow with eyes up. And by Odin, did you do your bow with eyes up? Let's see. Light horse dance. Sword and peg on. Oh, yeah, you need to stagger your line definitely for room. And you probably have to come quite a bit ahead because you'll need room for your sword out here in front. Okay, we're going to shift the weight and turn the hips just like we do in arm swings. And we do a yoko cut. Yoko cut. Yoko cut. Yeah, use those legs, warming up those legs and hips. Remember, it's your left hand, left hand that's doing all the driving. Now, Make sure your tip isn't drooping. Remember, we talked about that last class that came up a few times last class. We don't want that tip to droop. We want it cutting straight across. Straight across. Okay, Odin, shift your weight more. Yeah, and Odin, take a longer stance. So, bigger horse stance. More space between your legs. Stand by Odin. Wider. Left hand, left hand. So remember at the end here, your left hand turns it over. Left hand turns it over. So, sent by Siler, same thing as last class. You're going to watch out for that tip drooping. It's looking a little bit like this. You want that tip straight out, straight out. Titus, that's looking very good. Senpai Odin, that's looking much, much better. Good for you. Very good. Now, by Tyler, we need it way out there more. This is what I'm seeing. Look at my arms. The arms are kind of floppy and into your body. More out there. That's better, Siler. Okay, the Siler, not speed, that's going too fast. You're losing the technique and the sharpness. Sharp, clear, definite, and precise. So, Tempai Odin has a good speed. That's a good pacing to show things very clearly. And Titus, yeah, that's a better, clear showing, nice and slow. Okay, now coming from the bottom corner to the top corner. Left hand switches it over. Bottom corner, the top corner. Switch hand, turns it over, drops a tip. 
That pen turns it over, drops a tip, cut to the top corner. Use your legs and your hips the whole time. So Odin, we lost that horse dance, didn't we? So back into a horse dance. Titus, that's looking pretty good. Okay, now from the upper corner, from the top over the shoulder, shift the weight, turn the hips for downward cut. Left hand, bring the tip back over the other shoulder, shift the weight, turn the hips for downward cut to the other corner. Left hand brings the tip up over the other shoulder. See how slow and definite I'm doing that? I want you to show me the same clarity and accuracy. It's not about waving the sword around. You could do that with a pool noodle, sword noodle, right? Waving it around, flopping it around. The reason why you want to think of it as a sword is because of the blade. And you have to be very precise with that blade. If you imagine you're cutting through water, if you don't have the blade at exactly a good angle, it's going to drag through the water like a paddle. You don't want it to drag through the water like a paddle. You want it to slice through it with no drag at all. It takes a lot of focus mentally and getting the blade of the sword the same angle as the angle of the movement. So you need to be quite slow and precise about that. So Tyler, we need to have you having a clear weight shift, hip turn. Same with Odin. Odin, you've lost the weight shift. Side to side, shift the weight, turn the hips. Now, look at me for this from the side for a moment. You can stop if you like. See how far my hands are away from my body. Right here, see that? How far away my hands up from the body. That's extension. You all know about extension. As opposed to this, look at this. My hands and arms are too close to my body. I've lost my extension, it's getting floppy. Way out, remember you're throwing the energy out through the tip. Big extension, so you have big personal space. So I need to see that from you guys. Way out. Hands stay out away from the body. Getting in too close. Hands out away from the body, full extension. Okay. Draw down further into our stance for ski. So from stay gone. The ski, stay going, the ski. Now I'll need to show you from the side here because I'm wondering if you guys are gonna come all the way back to your body here and lose all your extension. So watch out from that. Extension, I can stay gone, but it's still way out. Think down through the ski, it's screwed on, of course. Back up for stay gone, but not back to your body. Ski, up, think and ski. Tyler's looking good. Titus looking good. Odin, need more of a sink. No, they'll start low. Don't start way up, right? You're in a, you're in a light horse stance to start with. That's a better sink. Odin, that's a better sink. Titus and Tyler, that's looking pretty good. Okay, stay gone. Hear me, Tank, call 180 degrees. Spiral turn and cut. Make sure you keep your knees bent. Make a high roof, rooftop lock, nice and high. So your hand is totally protected.
I like how Titus is getting that nice and high. That's very good. That's right, Siler. That's nice and high. That's right, Odin. Yeah, Odin, that's a good placement for your sword. That's very good there on top of your head. That's very good. Keep your knees bent, everybody. Okay, let's go to your kumitachi. Let's again start with the second last one, the last one, and then we'll go back to the top of the kumitachi. And that's about all we have to do to get you guys ready to do your test. Just making sure that the sword work, kumi, kumitachi, all the kumitachi are good, and then we can set a date for your next grading. So I'll demonstrate again. It's the second last one from the sheath position. Irisugiyashi, Irimi Tenkan, cut. Irimi is the drawing of the sword and the cut. Remember, we don't want that to drop down. Shoot on, even and straight. And also what we talked about last class, Senpai, is we don't want to cut too far. Just like you do any strike, you don't want to cut too far. Yokeman, you don't want to cut too far. So when I do the sideways cut, my tip is way away from my partner. So last class, we talked about having a nice cut. And again, that comes from your footwork, right? Movement of your body. It's the power for the cut. But not too far, because then you're open. So my tip is still angled. See that? It's still angled towards my partner. So I want to remember that from the last time. So I do Irimi Tugiyashi and do the cut. Then I step under the sword, Irimi Tenkan, step under the sword, and I stop on top of their head. If I have lots of room, I can come down, gate on. Make sure I'm not coming into the body. Okay, guys, let's do that together. Okay, so you'll definitely need to stagger your line. We'll do it a few times together, and then I'll look at you guys doing it. So let's break this down, senpai. Sugiyashi, cut. Make sure that tip doesn't droop. And it's still pointing towards partner. Step up, under the sword, step back, cut. Yeah. Make sure when you do that cut, you're not drooping like that. See that? Tip is down. Cutting, clear and straight. Okay, ready? Sugiyashi, cut, tip is still pointing in. Step up, grab the sword, Tenkon, cut. Couple more times, Senpai, then I'll have a look. That's one, two, three. Keep your extension here at the end. That looks like a good finish. One more. One, two, three. Good. Now, set up a watch. I'm going to count the same three counts. Ready? Forward stance, right? One, two, three. Hey, it's looking not too bad, Senpai. Let's set up again. One, two, three. Okay, Senpai, very, very good. Siler, that was a nice straight cut. All of you, that was a nice straight sideways cut. Very nice to see. Let's do a couple more. I won't do the one, two, three count. I might say go. Take your time to do the whole kumitachi. Take your time to show nice clear cuts. Ready? Height. Yeah, Senpai Siler, that's probably the best cut I've ever seen you do. Clear and straight. Very nice. Yes. Can you set up? Ready? Good. Siler's in a forward stance already. Nice. Height. Nice. Senpai, all of you, that's looking good. I like how you're having a little pause for each movement. 
that's good for demonstration purposes. And it's also good for our own training to be really clear and sharp with our posture and control. So I like how you're taking your time and you're pausing at endpoints. That is excellent training. Let's do one more. Ready? Let's see a forward stance, just like Senpai Siler had, really nice there. One more with this. Ready? Height. Nice finish, Senpai, very good. Okay, and the last Kumatachi, very, very similar. Only thing that's different is the beginning. Instead of stepping off and cutting sideways, Yoko cut, we're gonna do the same near Misugiyashi, but it's gonna be showman down to their showman strike. So we come down on top of their sword, on top of their showman strike. And then I have to do a slide step and turn my hips to do that yoko cut. Now what happened last time, some of you, after the showman cut, you went to one hand, which is very understandable because that's what we did in the first one. But because we're not coming from a drawn sword where we have to do it with one hand, we have to do that with one hand to draw, with drawing the sword. But now the sword is already drawn. We have two hands on our sword, so we're not gonna go to one hand on the sword unless we absolutely have to. So we keep both hands on the sword. So after I do my sugiyashi, I'm gonna slide step in and turn my hip for that sideways cut. So it looks like this, offline, cut down on top of the sword. I do a slide step and a hip turn for that side cut. And the finish is exactly the same. So I'll demonstrate that from behind if you wanna watch. So I do, me, do my irimi sugiyashi. And then slide step for the hips. Here we think on cut. So I'll show that once more. Sugiyashi, right on top of the sword. Slide step, turn my hips for the yoko cut. Here we think on for showman. Okay, let's do that, Senpai. Together. Okay, sorry, you didn't say gone. Nice good extension. So they're coming in doing showman. The last moment, we do sugiyashi, the blend with their attack, come down on top of their sword, slide step and turn the hips for a nice straight side cut. Hear me, Tenkon, sword over the head, showman. Okay, a couple more times together. Sugiyashi, showman, slide step, turn the hips, yoko cut. Hear me, Tenkon, showman. So that is one, two, three. Let's do two more like that, then I'll watch you guys do it. Hang on, extension. One, two, three. And we want to be in a forward stance here. Yeah, we mainly in a forward stance almost all the time. One, two, three. Okay, then five. let's see if you do as good with this one as you did with the last one. Okay, so now instead of here, we're in Fago. Just waiting for Odin to be ready. Fourth stance, Odin. Bend the front knee. One, two, three. You guys surprised me and how well he did there. The little differences are fun are difficult and you got them. I know if it was a little tense, he'd almost do it with one hand. It's normal because that's what the last one was. Okay, set up, stay gone. One, two, three. Nicely done. Remember to keep good extension at the end. Two more times, Senpai. Stay gone. One, two, three. You guys are becoming good swordsmen. One more time, ready? 
One, two, three. Nice turn and cut. Very good. Okay, Senpai, there's only one more. And actually it's really, the, it's the same as this one, except we go to the Ura. We are just going to Omote. Now we just go to the other side. And for the other side, we'll do Fethugiyashi, we'll do Ayumiyashi. And then we do the same turn for the cut. And then the same Irmi Tenkan for the finished showman. So watch me do that once or twice. So we're going to the other side, which is going to be your partner's Ura. And so since we did Tsugiyashi here, we're going to do Ayumiyashi to the Ura. So that's going to look like this. Turn my hips and slide near me, Tenkan. So let's do that together, Senpai. Make sure you've got room. You're definitely going to need to stagger the spacing. Okay, so we're going to be doing near me, Amiyashi for that first step. Stay on. Near me, Amiyashi, a showman strike. Your slide step to the left corner and turn your hips to the left. For the Yoko cut. Right leg, back leg steps up. Tenkan, showman. Okay. Yeah. That's right, Siler. You stop above the head. You're close like that. Good. Okay, a couple more times together. Forward stance. So, Ayumiyashi, Shomanuchi. Slide step, turn your hips to the left for the Yoko cut. Hear me, Tinkon, show me. Okay. Four sets, say gone. One, two, three. Remember to use your left hand for all the driving, for all the movement of that sword. Left hand. Ready? One, left hand up, left hand down. Two, left hand sideways. Three, left hand comes up, left hand comes down. Keeping the sword out away from you. Hold up. One more time together, Senpai, then I'll have a look at you. Forward stance. One, two, three. Oh, by the way, Senpai, Remember when we talked on the other side, when we talked before, we don't want to bring the, the cut too far away from our partner, right? So when I do my slide step and cut, I don't want to stop over here. I want to cut through, but not too far. I want to cut through, but not too far. I don't want to cut like this and then be exposed. So I want control, control and positioning through the target, not too far. Okay, one more time together, Senpai. One, two, three. Forward stance at the end, too. Okay, let's have a look. Stay gone. One, two, three. Okay, let's start again. One, two, three. Titus, that's right. Okay, now let's do a couple together. Because Odin, you turn the you Odin, you turn the other way. But Tyler, I couldn't see you, so I'm not sure if you got that or not. But Titus, that was correct. Let's do a couple together. Make sure we have the footwork and the directions correct. So follow me. All the timing and the pacing. One, two, now watch this part. Three, right foot steps up, left foot comes back. Right foot steps up. Yeah, that's right, Odin. There you go. Good, you got the left foot back too. That's right, Odin. Okay, guys, let's do that one more time together, and then I'll have another look. One, two, three. 
forward stance at the end. That's right, Odin. Okay, let's set up, guys. Let's have a look at that. Forward stance, full time. Stay going. One, two, three. Okay, need a bit more practice on this one again. Stay going. Good extension out away from your body. One, two, three. Okay, looking pretty good. Now, Odin, we just need to clean up a little piece there in the middle. Let me show you where. So you have this good, you have Ayumiyashi good. And then for the horizontal cut, you're kind of doing a bit of a step. That's just a slide step. It's just a slide step. You can be in and forward, but the left leg stays forward. So you're me, Ayumiyashi, that was good. And you're doing a little bit of a step here. It's just a slide step forward. So the feet don't change. So that's Ayumiyashi, the feet stay there. And then a big step forward. Okay, let's do two together. Stay gone. Ayumiyashi. Okay, now this part, Odin, watch my feet. They don't change. I slide step forward. Then a big step forward and turn. Good, good. One more time together. One. Okay, now left leg stays forward. Just slide forward. Two. Then a big step up and turn. Three. Okay, that looks like you might have it. Let's have a look. Stay gone. One. Two. Oh, no, Odin the other way. There you go. Three. Okay, let's start again. Take your time. One, two. That's right, Odin. Three. That's it, Odin. Okay, Odin, you got it. Let's do a couple more times just to sink it in. Don't be a good ready position. I'll get a chance to look at the other guys too here. One. Two, three. That's right, guys. One more time, please. Ready position right away. One, two, three. You got it, Odin. Everybody's got it. Very nice. Okay. Now. Let's go back to this one and I'll be your training partner. Let's do a quick review though. Okay, let's do a couple together. So we're to sheath, we're to forward stance. We're gonna do two together and then I'll come, I'll be your partner. Everybody here? Ready? One, two, three. Good. Remember when you cut sideways, the tip is not too far away, still pointed towards your partner. Okay, one more together, guys. One, two, three. Good. Okay, Senpai, make sure you have room. I'm going to come towards the screen. So you just try to time it to cut across while I'm up here before I'm coming down. Okay. Show me a good forward stance. Odin, convince me that you're ready. Skylar, it's looking good. Sharp movement, Skylar and Titus, very sharp. Ready?
Very nice. Again, let's see here. Right leg should be back. Watch, guys. Watch my legs. Your right leg should be back. It's not necessary for it to be back, but for this cut to us, what we're doing, and we use that to get more power. See that? Even more power. So right foot is forward, left foot, right foot comes back. The tenkan, right? I do sugiyashi, yerimi tenkan, which means the right leg will be back at the end. And you can use that for more power. Ready? So Olden, you want your right leg behind. So you're doing a tenkai. So sometimes guys, you're doing a tenkai, you enter in and you tenkai. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Sometimes that might be the best thing to do. Right now, we're not doing a tenkai. We're doing a tenkai. That gives you more power for a stronger cut. Can you see that? More power. If I do a tenkai, it's faster but not as powerful. Tenkai. Tenkan. Ready? That's right. That's right, Odin. Again. That's right, Siler. Titus, you had the right leg forward. Well, that's a ten con, not a ten cut. Ready? Right, right leg back, Titus. That first movement, Titus, your footwork is very good. You just want to get that right leg back at the end. I like your first footwork, it's very clear, very sharp, and very clear, Titus. Then just to get everybody on the same page, that right foot comes back because that is an Irmi Tenkan, not an Irmi Tenkai. Okay, ready guys? Show me you're ready. Yes, Titus. Couple more so I can see everybody again. Ready? And Olden, that's very, very good. Good control. Again, please. That's the right footwork, Siler. But I noticing that your tip is dropping again. It's a little bit droopy. Looks like you might be trying to cut too, too fast. So nice, clear cut. It's a little bit droopy. Hear me, Sugiyashi, nice, clear, clean cut. Okay, ready, guys? That's better, Siler. Everybody's looking good. Okay, let's do one more. Good focus. Good focus, Odin. Titus, that's looking really good. Okay, now. We'll just do another minute or two watching you guys do it with each other. Senpai Titus, Senpai Odin, why don't you start? So face each other, high bow, eyes up. Good. Okay. Uh, so Senpai Titus, you be the one that's going to be doing the technique. And Tempa Odin is going to be the one doing the Shomunichi from Saigon. Okay, so whenever you're ready, go ahead. Nice and slow. Oh, yes, very, very nice. Titus, I really like that straight with slow, straight and controlled. That sideways cut, that was nice. Let's see one more. 
whenever you're ready. That's beautiful. Okay, now switch places so you can switch roles. So now Senpai Odin is gonna be doing the technique. Okay, whenever you're ready, nice and slow. Yes, nice slow pacing to show what's going on very clearly. One more time, please. And that was very, very good timing how you started, Senpai Odin. That's perfect timing. Okay, so uh, Senpai Siler, if you'll come up, uh, working with Senpai Titus. That's right. Bow thighs up. Thought, please. Okay. I just want to point out both of you are looking very good. I like Senpai Siler's positive attitude, positive body language. That's a nice stance, Senpai Siler. And Senpai Titus has a good say going. This is looking like a really good start. Okay. So whenever you're ready, Senpai Titus is going to start with a slow showman. Good. That's a good finish position up there, Siler. Now, Siler, make sure you make a, a nice big sugiyashi to really get out of the way. The timing is good. Just make sure that it's, you're getting off the line. Okay, whenever you're ready. That's it. Good. Let's see another one. Oh, nice. Excellent, guys. That's looking sharp. Excellent. Okay, well, it's time for a wind down. Okay, that's good work, guys. Okay, horse dance again. We we'll use the same warm up for our wind down. So breathe out, cut. Breathe in as you switch. Breathe out for the cut. Breathe in as you switch the sword over. Breathe out as you shift the weight, turn the hips. Nice good extension. Okay, downward cut. So breathe in as you bring it over the shoulder, breathe out as you cut. Breathe in, sort up, breathe out, shift the weight and cut. Using your breath, timing everything together. Mind, body, and breath are all timed together. Good. Now, breathe out. As you cut up, breathe in as you bring it back behind you. Breathe out as you cut up, breathe in as you transition. Yeah, use your legs and hips. Your feet stay flat, right? So you don't lean. Your feet stay flat. Stay in a nice wide horse stance. Nice wide horse stance. Good. Now, big showman cut. So we're going to finish right at gate on. Breathe in, come up, breathe out. Breathe in, send the tip way out. Breathe in, left arm, breathe out, left hand brings it down. Send the energy out through the tip. That's it, work those legs. Okay, Tenkan Undo, 180 degrees. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in to make the rooftop lock, breathe out for the cut. Be aware of your spacing, guys. Be aware. Good. Okay. I bow to the showman wall. Right side. Full regular bow. Good work, Senpai. Let's put the sword to the side. Okay, guys, that was good work. Touching towards the end. You guys are really coming together, looking sharper and sharper. Okay, let's bow out.
どうもありがとうございます。Thank you very much. Good work, Senpai.